So I'm with my neighbor Flip right now, and we're about to get a car wash. Look, can I get a car wash too? Sure, which one would you like to purchase with us? Uh, I'll just get the cheapest one. The budget? Alright, thank you. Let me roll up the window. as violent as I thought it would be. It was actually, I don't know. What do you think, Flip? A little wet. <laughs> it's all right. It smells like bubble gum in there. So it turns out taking your Jeep through the car wash isn't really that big of a deal. It, uh, it wasn't as violent as I thought it would be, so I'll probably take it there more often. It was pretty uh, cheap and convenient, to be honest. Kind of a short video this week. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time at rehab, you know, as I should be. It's it's really important. But uh, a few weeks ago, somebody named Blade Ramble commented, "You should do a Jeep build breakdown and detail video." Video. Well, I don't know what you guys want to know about it, but it's a white Jeep. It's a '93. It's got a 4.8 Chevy Vortec V8 in it. Made it to a 4L60E. Automatic transmission. The rear end is a 14 bolt semi float. I don't know why it's not a full float. It's out of a van. It's just what I got. The front end is a Dana 30 with some ridiculous wheel spacers to match the rear. Uh, the tires, they don't make these anymore. These are the old school BFG mud trains, size 37s. Uh, load range E. Them sidewalls are stiff. I don't know why I have those either. Uh, the thing's kind of a hodgepodge Frankenstein rig, but it kind of just works. It's also still a work in progress. If anybody thinks I should make a video dedicated to the Jeep itself and everything that's on it, let me know. Maybe I will do that. I don't know. I'm undecided. But for right now, I'm pretty tired. And I think I'm going to end it right here. If you want to send me some mail, as always, here, here's the thing. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next week.